Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Mutant Mayhem. The story commences amidst the bustling streets of New York City, where operatives from TCRI, Techno Cosmic Research Institute, embark on a mission to track down the rogue scientist Baxter Stockman, Giancarlo Esposito. Baxter, a genius inventor, has engineered his own mutant creature. Acting under the directives of CEO Cynthia Utram, Maya Rudolph, the agents aim to reverse the mutant transformation and deliver the creation to her for further experimentation. In Baxter's residence, the agents apprehend him just as he perfects his mutagenic serum. He communicates with his first creation, a mutated fly. Chaos erupts as the fly annihilates the agents, while an accidental chemical ignition leads to a fatal explosion, claiming Baxter's life. Unbeknownst to the surviving agents in Utrum, the mutagenic substance plummets into the city sewers. Fast forward 15 years, and we meet the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Leonardo, Nicholas Cantu, Donatello, Micah Abbey, Michelangelo, Shaman Brown Jr., and Raphael, Brady Noon. They navigate the rooftops incognito, embarking on a seemingly mundane mission, grocery shopping without detection. Employing their ninja prowess, they deftly complete the task. Later, they opt for a leisurely stop at the park to enjoy an outdoor screening of Ferris Bueller's Day Off. While they relish this moment, an underlying desire to engage with the world beyond their subterranean abode becomes apparent. Returning to their underground dwelling, the turtle's tardiness is discovered by Master Splinter, Jackie Chan. When questioned, Leo inadvertently reveals their excursion to the movies. This prompts Splinter to recount the rationale behind their isolation from the outside world. He recounts his own origins as a disregarded rat, transformed by the mutagen and subsequently transforming the turtles. Attempts to integrate them into society were met with repulsion, compelling Splinter to safeguard his sons within the sewers and instruct them in the art of ninjutsu. Despite this cautionary history, the turtles yearn for the chance to attend high school and befriend their human peers. In the city, criminals under the enigmatic Superfly, Ice Cube, pilfer a vat of mutagen from a TCRI vehicle. Following a pursuit by law enforcement, Superfly eliminates the criminals and absconds with the mutagen. During a rooftop escapade, the turtles encounter April O'Neil, Ao Edabairai, a girl on a scooter. Leo is instantly smitten, but their interaction takes an unexpected turn when her scooter is stolen. Against his brother's objections, Leo pursues the thief. The pursuit leads them to a warehouse, a haven for a gang of criminals. Engaging in combat, the turtles emerge victorious. April reclaims her scooter and discovers the turtles' existence. Despite initial unease, she treats them to pizza and learns about their origins. She shares her investigation into Superfly's criminal operations, but his elusiveness baffles everyone. April imparts her contact information, fostering a potential alliance. After some time, the Turtles reach out to April, who helps them infiltrate her high school. With a desire to redeem her tarnished reputation, April seeks a major news story. The Turtles' aspiration to gain public adoration propels them to assist her in uncovering Superfly's activities. Their investigation leads them to various criminal factions in the city, a quest to expose Superfly's whereabouts. Their encounters with criminals highlight their combat prowess. Eventually, they learn of a meeting orchestrated by Superfly beneath the Brooklyn Bridge. Infiltrating the gathering, they are astounded to discover Superfly as a fellow mutant. Superfly introduces them to his mutant associates, Bebop, Seth Rogen, Rocksteady, John Cena, and others. Superfly extends an invitation to join their group. The mutants engage in leisure activities, forming bonds. Meanwhile, Superfly shares his backstory, revealing his connection to Baxter and their shared experiences of rejection. He discloses a plan to utilize stolen mutagen to create a super weapon, intending to reshape the world by mutating all creatures into mutants and subjugating humanity. Discomfort by this scheme, the Turtles find themselves reluctantly ensnared due to Superfly's threats. Superfly accompanies Leatherhead, Wingnut, and Rocksteady as they drive alongside the Turtles towards their destination. The group devises a strategy, using Donnie's bow staff to slam on the gas pedal forcefully, propelling the other mutants through the windshield. This maneuver allows the Turtles to commandeer their van. The mutants tail them, while April and Superfly make an entrance, engaging in combat with the Turtles in pursuit of the mutagen. Despite the boys' efforts to intervene, they are subdued by TCRI operatives. In the meantime, April rushes off to seek aid from Splinter. Utrum captures the Turtles and proceeds to extract their DNA with the aim of creating her own super mutants. 
Mikey and Rafa's strength wanes until Splinter arrives, launching an assault on TCRI personnel and incapacitating Utram's henchmen. Before departing, Splinter takes a moment to reprimand his sons for defying him, emphasizing the need to heed his guidance and remain concealed in the sewers for their survival. The Turtles locate Superfly's hideout just as he activates a destructive device. They manage to communicate with the other mutants, who admit they don't share Superfly's desire to obliterate humanity. Enraged, Superfly opts to turn the device on himself. The Turtles and mutants forge an alliance against him, ultimately overpowering him. In a desperate bid, Superfly appeals to Splinter, assuming that their shared disdain for humans would align them. However, Splinter realizes he doesn't want to mirror Superfly's path and aids in subduing him, toppling the machine into the river. Regrettably, the mutagen seeps into the water, leading to Superfly merging with aquatic creatures, morphing into a kaiju named Superduperfly. The colossal entity advances on the city, merging with zoo animals to bolster its might and wreak havoc. The turtles and mutants resolve to confront this threat after Splinter acknowledges his errors in assessing the outside world. Upon their arrival in the city, news reports cast the Turtles as part of a rogue mutant gang ravaging Manhattan. This disheartens them, reinforcing their perception of being perceived as monsters. Leo inspires his brothers, stressing that heroism shouldn't be pursued for acceptance but for the sake of righteousness. He urges them to leverage their unique strengths, Mikey's creativity, Donnie's intellect, and Rafa's vigor, to find a solution against Superfly. Donnie proposes obtaining a TCRI serum that can reverse Superfly's mutations by targeting his weak point. Simultaneously, April confronts an attack news station, seizing the opportunity to broadcast that the Turtles and mutants are valiantly combating a genuine menace. As the Turtles strive to administer the serum, Superfly seizes them, subjecting them to his crushing grasp. Splinter makes an attempt to deliver the serum but is hurled several blocks away. To his surprise, a human offers assistance, soon joined by fellow New Yorkers, working collectively to deliver the serum to the Turtles. Amid a barrage of refuse, the Turtles exploit the distraction to inject the serum into Superfly, causing the amalgamated creatures within him to revert, returning him to the form of a common housefly. The citizens celebrate the Turtles as heroes. Splinter extends an invitation to the other mutants to reside with him and the Turtles in the sewers. He develops a relationship with Scumbug, much to the Turtles' chagrin. The Turtles subsequently enroll in high school, where they find acceptance. April is now regarded as a hero among her peers, alongside the Turtles. Midway through the credits, glimpses of the Turtles' high school lives unfold, Donnie spearheads a computer club, Raph joins the wrestling team, Mikey engages in improv classes, and Leo aids April in investigating TCRI, who have vanished post-Superfly incident. At prom, April joins the Turtles, unaware that Utram is monitoring them and plotting their recapture while holding the demutated Superfly captive. She seeks the assistance of a mysterious assassin, the Shredder. No.